Well, right now they're doing uh, some games, uh, field games for uh, for the festival. Uh, we've been doing that for uh, for a while, but uh, there are some new games that uh, they've uh, they're doing. But back in the old days, there since uh, you know we started uh, over 40 years ago, we've had various different types of uh, games that uh, we've done. You know, in the morning we'd start okay. off with uh, breakfast, community breakfast, and. Uh, then we'd have uh, some activities before we come down to wherever our gathering place is, like this place here now. Uh, it's uh, this is where we hold our festivals, and in the evening uh, they start playing uh, uh, bingos, and uh, at nights uh, we have uh, nightly uh, entertainment. It's like uh, you know, uh, it's like a carnival. You know, we call them festivals. Uh, these type of festivals uh, in the north, uh, we you know, there's so many uh, uh, perpetual crises in our communities, and um, it is important that you know that we engage in these type of fun activities because uh, it gives people to look forward to something. It gives people to uh, look forward to these events, whether it's live music, whether it's uh, you know coming home, whether it's uh, you know because um, communities struggle with. Uh, uh, crises such as suicide crisis, uh, infrastructure crisis, water crisis, and uh, mental health crisis. Um, these type of events save lives, and if they spend so much resources on uh, bringing others others in, uh, it becomes a, uh, a suicide prevention activity without really knowing it. But you're having fun. Festivals can actually save lives for for Niskandaga, but for other. Uh, First Nations that have these type of activities, so it's um, it's good to see. It's 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 so awesome to be here. Without talking about crisis, you're just talking about fun and uh, people having fun together, and and that's all part of the nation building.